What's up gamers, this is Proto and welcome to another episode of Like or Dislike where we look at some of the latest games that's coming out, tell you our pros and cons after getting our hands on the game, and showing you some gameplay all at the same time, help you make that decision if you really want to get that game or not. And today we are looking at Borderlands 3. So Borderlands 3 takes place after the events from Borderlands 2. You are a new vault hunter recruited by the Crimson Raiders to help them track down vaults in the universe and to help stop the Calypso twins from obtaining the ultimate vault. Now this is a first person looter shooter type game where you're always grinding for better gear and better weapons. So it's definitely a game for, for gamers that like to grind. Now you play as a new set of vault hunters that have their own different play styles. So you have a variety to choose from. You can upgrade their abilities by using tokens you earn by leveling up. And as you upgrade their abilities you open up more styles and buffs that you can use for fighting with them. And just playing around with them, they're not bad. It gives you a lot of variety if you want to be more of a passive or aggressive player. And I really like that. Now you use a ship to travel the universe to different planets to, to track down all these vaults. But the ship also serves as your hub so you can switch out gear, store certain weapons or gear that you like, buy upgrades and other things. You will have plenty to grind for from unique outfits, gear, weapons, and lore. So if that's what you're into, you'll be definitely happy with this game. Like I said, the emphasis on this game is grinding. So whether you're trying to get the better weapons, get a certain outfit, completing the lore of the game, you'll definitely enjoy that part. Now you have two modes you can actually play this game when it comes to grinding for gear. You can play with your friends in a cooperative mode where everyone gets the same gear. Or you can play it in competitive where it's first person where it's first person first come serve. Now that was a previous mode, so they brought that back. And some people like it, some people hate it. But you got the option for it. So just keep that in mind. You can also customize the leveling if you're playing with somebody that's lower level than you. So if you're playing with a friend that's lower or higher than you, they'll balance out the difficulty for the enemies that you guys fight. But if you choose not to do that, It'll definitely be harder for the lower level person. And I definitely look at that for playing the Division 2. When I was letting the, uh, helping a friend go through the storyline I had already beat it, I'm playing through their storyline and I'm just knocking them down with no problems. And he was struggling a little, but you know, he's leveling up. I was just basically there to help him out. So I definitely understand that and I like that option. Now this game does not take itself serious and I can definitely say that and you will most definitely have a lot of times you'll be laughing at the characters in this universe and I tell you nobody takes it serious in this game you're going to be laughing on nearly every cutscene. Now previous characters from the Borderlands universe will pop in to help you and add even add even more humor to the game but like I say you if you ain't laughing on every scene probably every other scene you're gonna be laughing and if you've been playing all the games you've been following all the lore you're definitely gonna like how all these characters are coming in and helping now after you complete the grind after you complete being the game you have a new mode called legacy which you can continue grinding for more gear and it makes it makes the enemies more difficult so there's definitely replay value in that for like I said people that love the grind you can grind for better gear and the enemies will be even tougher for it. Now you have a lot of side missions that take up time and help you level up as well. But I definitely tell you, make sure to pay attention to everything in the world. Because you might miss out on some good gear, cash, if you're just trying to run through the objectives. Because I can tell you, as you're going on all these worlds, there's going to be so much stuff you can go through. Lockers, boxes, cases. And a lot of times they give you a lot of ammo you need so you don't have to buy it and restock. But you will find some gear in them. So don't just try to run through trying to complete the missions. You can actually, like I said, you will you can actually come across some good high level weapons. I came across a couple of weapons that was a level higher than me. But as soon as I unlocked them, I used them. So that's what I say. Just make sure check everything that's around you. It won't it won't hurt you. Now, graphics-wise, this game is very beautiful. I like the colorful shades, the shell shaded style they've used for this series, and they don't skip on the gore because you can blow limbs off, and you'll see the blood spitting out of those limbs. And the commentary that these guys say, not just your character, not just the characters you play with, but the enemies, is definitely fun. I highly recommend. Uh, don't play this around your parents because all oh, they will use language. So just be forewarned on that. 
But all this gameplay you guys seen was captured on the Xbox One X. So and that's pretty much the end of the review. So with that being said, let's take a look at the pros versus the cons. And first we're going to start off with the pros. First thing we're going to say is the game is very challenging. Regardless, if you're trying to run through the game, you're trying to walk it through, you're trying to do what you want to do. The enemies don't play around. They all have their own. They all have their own little perks, ways they can make things easy for you and make things extremely hard. So I definitely like that. The next pro we're gonna look at. There is a lot to grind for in this game. I and mean, like I said, if you one of those that likes grinding, you like getting for better weapons, better gear, you'll definitely like it. One of the emphasis of the Borderlands games was always crazy unique weapons, and they don't change here. So the hardest part is deciding which weapons you want to keep and which weapons you don't want to keep. And the last part we're going to look at is the story was funny. Like I said, they don't take this story serious. Nobody takes it serious, and I love that. Just the all the comic relief, the comedy, even when you killing people or you shooting them, their final words. It just makes you laugh and you just like what did you say but definitely a pro on my side so the pros done let's take a look at the cons so the first con we're gonna look at checking everything for loot now when you first start doing the game you get the hang of and start doing it but i can imagine as the game progresses and you put 10 20 30 plus hours in this game it can become annoying but like i said you can either ignore it you can pass up on some good gear you'll never know or you cannot and you might get some really good gear that you want to use so but i can see that annoying some people because there's a lot of things that you can look for in this world it's not just like one or two boxes in a room there's like stuff everywhere stuff sometimes you wouldn't expect to be so i can understand that turns some people off next con we're gonna look at is the game is repetitive it's a looter it's a looter shooter game most of these games never really have a real in-depth story the whole point is grinding a lot of the missions are about the same thing go kill this target go bring this item back go do this recon this that and the other so if you're looking for a game that gives you unique missions where you're not doing the same thing all the time this might not be the game for you and the last car we're gonna look at is the vehicle driving now in my opinion the vehicle driving sucks and it's crazy to me because you use vehicles to get around in this world and the mechanics for it aren't that hard it's just like the handling of the vehicles is not good at all the response is not good and if you like fighting other vehicles you might end up losing your vehicle in the process so that was just a real personal con for me but that's pretty much the end of the review the pros and cons overall i'm definitely enjoying the game i'm still putting hours into this game and i will definitely probably be streaming some of this from time to time but it's definitely a life for me i'm definitely enjoying the game so let me know how you guys feel if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give me a like let me know you guys enjoy videos like this i work on trying to do more reviews of some more games if there's a certain game you want me to review hit me up and let me know and i can try to pick up a copy and try to do a review on it if you haven't already subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button we talk about stuff going on in the gaming and tech world do reviews on some of the latest games and tech that's out do top 10 new games coming out every month and so much more Make sure to follow our social media pages so you can keep up to date with what's going on or if you don't reach out to me. I love talking about gaming, so don't be afraid to hit me up. Catch me streaming on Twitch, playing a bunch of console, indie, PC games, you know it. Make sure to drop that follow and don't be afraid to chat with me. I love talking about different things when I'm playing the game. But this is Proto and I'll catch you guys in the next video.